Hi guys, the topic that we're going to cover today is mobile broadband. Mobile broadband is a broadband connection or high speed internet connection that gives you internet from the mobile network. So can it be any mobile network or does it have to be a special one? So generally speaking, mobile broadband can be achieved as long as you're using the 3G network or 4G network or 5G network. But realistically speaking, unless you're using a 4G or 5G network, you may not be able to get the broadband speeds. The 5G networks take mobile broadband to a whole new level and they have something called EMBB or Enhanced Mobile Broadband, sometimes also called Extreme Mobile Broadband. So this Extreme Mobile Broadband, EMBB, is able to give you speeds that are even higher than 4G networks. The setup that you need for mobile broadband is actually quite simple. All you need is a SIM card and a device. This device is not just any device, it's a device, it's a special device that can take in a SIM card to connect to the mobile network so that you can establish the internet connection. And then this device can allow other devices like laptops, etc., to connect to it to use the internet. This device can be like a smartphone, for example, so you can use it as a hotspot, or it can be a dedicated mobile broadband router or a USB dongle. The USB dongles used to be more common almost 10 years ago, but they're not as popular now. And the reason for that is because they were able to provide like a one-to-one -one connection because you would have to insert the USB dongle into a device like a laptop in order for the laptop to connect to the internet. But nowadays there are some dongles that can still work as a Wi-Fi hotspot also, but it's more common to get a dedicated Wi-Fi router, which can use a SIM card. So it's a mobile broadband router and then it can establish a Wi-Fi hotspot for any devices to connect to the internet. So that was mobile broadband at a high level. Let's now dive into the details to understand what it is in detail and how it works. Mobile broadband, often abbreviated as MBB, is high-speed mobile internet that allows us to connect our mobile phones and other devices to the internet when we are not connected to the Wi-Fi network. Mobile broadband or mobile internet can be enabled by cellular technologies like 3G, 4G and 5G mobile networks. Let's now have a look at some screenshots to see what mobile internet looks like. In this picture, there are four screenshots. The screenshot on the left is for a mobile phone that is connected to a Wi-Fi network. The other three screenshots show that the mobile phone is connected to mobile internet via 3G, 4G and 5G mobile networks. Mobile broadband is just a terminology that is used to refer to mobile internet when mobile internet provides us with broadband speeds. Mobile broadband requires packet switching technology, which is an essential part of 3G, 4G and 5G mobile networks. While all these networks can offer high peak speeds, which are theoretical, on average you need at least 4G connectivity to get a decent broadband speed. The advanced versions of 4G LTE networks like LTE Advanced and LTE Advanced Pro can enable average download speeds of around 50 to 100 Mbps in the UK. While 5G networks are still relatively new in some markets, they can offer average download speeds of around 150 to 200 Mbps in the UK. The speeds can be higher or lower depending on your mobile operator, your location and the network traffic that often depends on the time of the day. Generally, you can expect mobile operators to invest more money in the networks in popular locations like the city or town centers because there are more users. Let's have a look at this table now. We have three columns. The first column shows the network generation. The second column shows the technology. And the third column just explains how mobile internet is enabled. So starting from the first row in 2G or second generation, there are two technologies, GSM and IS-95. In GSM networks, GPRS and edge enhancements enable mobile internet. In IS-95, there's a packet switch part that provides internet. However, the speeds are not broadband speeds for either of these networks. In 3G, there are two technologies, UMTS and CDMA 2000. In UMTS, the HSPA enhancement offers mobile broadband. In CDMA 2000, the EVDO enhancement enables mobile broadband speeds. In 4G, there is only one technology, which is LTE. The original LTE, as well as the LTE enhancements, can offer high-speed mobile broadband. 
Finally, in 5G, which is enabled by NR technology, 5G NR networks can enable high-speed mobile broadband. Let's now look at another table that shows the maximum or peak speeds that mobile networks can enable. Now, you need to be aware that in real life, you won't be able to get these speeds. The peak speed is the maximum speed that the network is technically capable of generating. These speeds drop considerably depending on how many people are trying to access the network at any given time. Then of course the coverage issues like the distance between you and the base station also plays a key role in establishing what speed you get. So as you can see in this table, EVDO revision 0 gives you 2.4 megabits per second, so that's the maximum speed. EVDO revision A gives you 3.1 megabits per second. EVDO revision B gives you 14.7 megabits per second. So EVDO is part of CDMA 2000 technology. 3G UMTS networks can give you 2 megabits per second in download speeds, peak speed again. HSPA, which is part of UMTS networks, can give you 14.2 megabits per second. HSPA Plus, which is also an enhancement in UMTS networks, can give you 42 megabits per second. Now the LTE networks that provide the 4G upgrade path to both UMTS and CDMA, they can offer you peak download speeds of up to 300 megabits per second. I'm sure it sounds quite high to you. If you look at LTE Advanced and LTE Advanced Pro, they take it to another level. So LTE Advanced can give you peak speed of 1 Gbps and LTE Advanced Pro can give you peak speed of 3 Gbps. Finally, the 5G NR technology can take the download speeds to 10 Gbps. Now I'm sure you're thinking that these speeds do sound quite high and you're right. So let's now have a look at the next table to see what speeds you actually get. The actual speeds are what you get on average, so it is always extremely useful to know the average speeds before deciding on your mobile broadband service provider. While this table that you're seeing on the screen gives you a general average, the values may vary considerably depending on your mobile operator, your location and network traffic. So let's look at the CDMA networks first. So EVDO Revision A, which is part of CDMA 2000, gives you average download speeds of between 0.6 to 1.4 megabits per second. EVDO Revision B, which is the next enhancement after EVDO Revision A, gives you average speeds of between 2 and 4 megabits per second. Coming now to UMTS networks, so HSPA enhancement in UMTS gives you average speeds of between 3 and 5 megabits per second. HSPA Plus, which is enhancement to HSPA, gives you average speeds of between 5 and 8 megabits per second. Then we have LTE, the basic LTE, which gives you average speeds of between 15 to 20 megabits per second for downloads. Then LTE Advance gives you average download speeds of between 50 to 80 megabits per second. And LTE Advance Pro gives you average speeds of between 60 and 100 megabits per second. Finally, 5G NR technology can give you average download rates of between 150 and 200 megabits per second at this point in time in the UK. If you want to access mobile broadband with decent speeds, this is what you need. A 4G or 5G cellular device, for example a smartphone, mobile broadband dongle, or mobile broadband router. A SIM card from a mobile operator that has good indoor coverage for at least 4G LTE in your area. And finally, a mobile data plan or tariff that gives you access to at least 4G or ideally both 4G and 5G. Now let's go through the steps one by one. The first step is to get a SIM from a mobile operator that offers 4G and ideally also 5G in your area. The first and the most crucial part of your mobile broadband internet is a high-speed data connection which requires 4G LTE as a minimum. If you plan to use the SIM in a mobile broadband router or a USB dongle, you need a data-only SIM. It's a different kind of SIM. 
If you plan to use your smartphone as a hotspot, you can use your regular SIM. For tablets, you can also use a data-only SIM. While 3G is not ideal, if you are with an operator with a CDMA network, for example CDMA 2000 or EVDO, you need to get the device and the airtime directly from your mobile operator because EVDO devices do not take an external SIM. Okay, so the next one is to get a SIM-enabled 4G or 5G broadband router to create a Wi-Fi connection in your home. While you can use your smartphone to create a hotspot, having a dedicated purpose-built broadband router offers the best mobile broadband experience. As soon as you insert the SIM card into the router, the router uses the mobile network as a backhaul to access the mobile internet. It then turns that into a Wi-Fi signal for other devices to connect to the internet. And finally, what you also need is a good mobile data plan or tariff from your mobile operator. You want to ensure that you have a good mobile data plan so that you don't have to keep counting every megabyte or gigabyte of data that you use. If you plan to use mobile broadband as your main broadband service, you may consider unlimited data plans with no speed caps for complete peace of mind. You can download these slides and supporting information from compsbrief.com slash compsbrief hyphen products. There's also a direct link to the download page in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic and the link is in the description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.